So we are on our way to our balloon launch. This would be a, well, I guess for me, once in a lifetime, doing a balloon ride. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think. What's up? One more. I was just gonna check my phone to see if I have one more. Can so, you just check the car really yes, quick? I'm sorry, perfect. I think we forgot something. No, that's fine. Yeah. So we are checking something, but uh, yeah, so we'll see you later yeah. as, as soon as we get to the balloon launch. Supposedly, the pilot is already there. Supposedly, it's a good day for the balloon balloon ride. So we are very optimistic and yes, I have 13 um, really positive to have a good. Okay, um, balloon ride and see the beauty of Santa Barbara <laughs> from <laughs> above. Sure okay, What's that? I wanted to make sure it wasn't working, so that's why we have to take the, the end because if, you, if everyone was to take their car, uh, no, he doesn't stop. land. Obviously, he takes right. off. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's the way it is. So oh, well, you don't he, land. He has, you know, it's somewhere on the chain Ranch. Yeah, because yeah, they have a lot of property. But I mean, he, there's just a, it's not like a density. Yeah. Oh, so it's not like a helicopter ride where yeah, there's a designated yeah, so landing place? To, the way to, to fly the balloon, you have to catch different uh, wind speeds uh, to, to get to where you're going. So he'll either raise the balloon to catch a different wind speed or lower it. So, gotcha. Um, it's all depending on the wind, but I it's going to be a great day today. Perfect. Yeah. But we have some flight, catchy clothes. Right, so yeah. you have afternoon flights though? Yeah, the afternoon flight last night was a really nice flight. Beautiful sunset, nice wind, oh. perfect landing. Wow. Yeah. Also you have, you have one during the sunset and during sunrise. He's been flying every day. Right. So on sunset flights, you can actually see the sunset?
assim só, e tem como ir, né? Assim. Okay. So, girls, don't step on the balloon. <laughs> you totally trampled the balloon. <laughs> Thank you. 
Para kami nasa elevator going to the um, parang ano, Empire State Building. Ganya. Oo. Dito kami sa area magpapahatid kami. Para kung nalulula. Biyahing Cebu pala to. Pero ayun do. We are on top of the world. Ah, current. So So, ano ang, ano? <laughs> Napasad, napakanta. But it's really nice. Look at that. Very nice. So this is how it goes. Hi. 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 County. Santa Ines County. Is this Santa Ines County? No. This is Los Olivos, Santa Ines County. Beautiful. Different altitudes, different wind directions, different speeds. That's the only way we can steer this. So how? how what is the maximum altitude that that we are in? I don't. Oh, right now, I don't know what's. Well, right now we're at 1,200 feet above sea level, but you know it just depends on what the winds do. It determines where we're gonna. How high are we going to go? Gotcha. So up higher, they're real fast today, so we're going to just stay a little bit lower today. Gotcha. We want to give you the longest ride. What I don't expect, what I didn't expect from this they ride is... They follow us where we land, the car. Uh, oh. it's, in the, yeah, it's really, it's calm. Oh, I thought it's going to be bumpy. No, you are actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you actually feel is you're actually on a balloon ride. Yeah. thought it's gonna be yeah, really cool but it's not <laughs> the majority of the trees you'll see below you are about 200 years old oh, all oak <laughs> Yeah. Um, pa yung Wizard of Oz. <laughs> um, 
walang ba? Yan. Yan. Yung nakikita niya sa likod ko, sa sabihin niya ay, for Pinoy niya. Yan. It's amazing how they control they control the flight through the through the heat. Don't want to be flying, you'll never see a balloon flying in the middle of the day. interesting to do with this balloon ride. You know, um, I think one, you can actually get married. It's very solid. That's what I'm realizing now. It's very solid. Uh, as much as you are up, up above, you can actually feel it with nature. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a balloon ride. So it's not bumpy. You can eat.
clear day. Beautiful. Um, and then according to the driver, kanina, sunset now. Sunset is also a good uh, time to do uh, this balloon ride. I can just imagine. I can just totally imagine how a sunset would look like. <laughs> That's Edgar Mandy on uh, on the background <laughs> with with the bebe. <laughs> Correct. Um, so. Next, you guys are down. You guys have one more. So, um, Mona, so is this definitely one for the bucket list? Uh, yeah, afternoons. Afternoon. Not in the middle of the night because you can't see power lines and stuff. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. But in the afternoons, we fly a 14 mile flight that's all the way from the east to the west. It's our best flight you can offer in the nation. Uh, it's the farthest oh, yeah, flight that's that'd be, planned. That would be wild, actually. huh? Yeah, and it's completely different view. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, oh. But sometimes when you do something, you've realized after you've realized, oh, I just did a bucket list. Okay, so when I did bungee jumping before, I never thought I'm doing it for a bucket list because I don't have a bucket list. But when I did it, after I said, we are one time being time. Oh, okay. It's totally, it, 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 all of the, this balloon ride. <laughs> Hindi siya not necessarily one time bit. I, I think I can do this again. Di ba pala siya nakakatakot? Snagged on a power line, blacked out the whole town. So uh, only 100, 100 uh, people lived in the town at that time. House, transported the house piece <laughs> by piece <laughs> from Santa Maria. And that's what keeps the fog low to the ground till late mornings. The Spaniards uh -huh. figured that out, and that's why they plant most of their they planted most of their vineyards to the south of us in the San Rito Santa Rosa Hills. Uh -huh. Pinot Noir, Ganache, Sauvignon Blanc there. That's right, dude. They wanted to plant the vineyards where it's foggy? Yeah, sure. where it's foggy, keep them cool. I don't want them to burn up. The water, the ocean? Mm -hmm. and then off to the east here, this little valley tucked in here is where Michael Jackson used to live, Neverland Ranch in that part of the valley there. So just yeah. sold it for $21 million. It was up for sale for $100 million. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. No, there's no rise to the rise. Yeah. So somewhere in this vicinity, vicinity is the Neverland Ranch of Michael Jackson. According to the pilot, it was for sale, on sale for 100 million, and it was sold for 21 million. So, look at that. Miles there, and then this is all their ranch right here. Let me see. But, uh, we got a thousand cattle right now. Just look real close to you. You see kind of some of the mustard seed coming up. That yellow flower there, that's uh, the Spanish used to plant that mustard seed up the coast of California from San Diego to San Francisco. Marked in their trails from mission to mission. That's why you see.
landing. Are we? I don't know. <laughs> Has it been an hour? So I'm shooting for the runway right now. Uh, so that's, you know, the gate across from you. So we're shooting the runway. This one. So. Pwede pa tabi mo, sabi mo, sabi mo, sabi mo, So, we are now cruising with an altitude of 1,800 feet above sea level. 26,000 over Mount Kilimanjaro. So this captain has flown a Mount Kilimanjaro for 26,000. So they should have their own oxygen when they fly back. Okay, the van and what? As the driver was explaining it to us, unlike helicopters that like helipad, that's where they usually land for the balloon, it's different landing all the time depending on the wind. So I think the wind dictates now that we shall be landing on this. Go through the gate and down, right? Straight through that gate. So we shall be landing in a few. This has been a wonderful flight. Instructions when you guys hold on real tight underneath the black handle or just tuck it in the leather, keep your knees bent as we come to land. There you go. Hold on to the fuel lines, both hands. Okay, both both hands. Don't take it lightly because there are the cell phone. So okay. Both hands. Okay, so safety safety uh, reasons. So sa both hands I shall say goodbye. Okay. We're going to back straight up. 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 We're going to back stra
Para sa aircraft din. Sa plane. Most critical part. I think the queue taking off is not much of a problem. I think it's the land and the... problema kasi wala namang hangin Confirm na to, safety landed. Bababa ka na ng basket. Okay.
Di ba nakagano parero? Whatever's left Thank you! Can we get out now? Not yet. Jump! Ganun lang talaga. Parang ano lang talaga. Parang... Oo. Pero mahirap din o ganyan lang. Sige ga, try nyo ba? Ang hirap po. You can have like... Okay, send me all together. Okay, send me all together. Brother Boyet, hi Bo, kamusta? Bigla na nood, si Boyet. Saan ito na? Facebook? Oo, oo, oo. Just a little champagne toast after all our balloon rides. And the reason being is two crazy Frenchmen by the name of the Montgolfier brothers flew the first hot air balloon. And they got the idea by one night they were sitting around a campfire and one of the brothers threw a big piece of paper into the fire and went up through the sky. And they were puzzled by this and said, wow, I wonder if it makes them float across the ground and travel some distance. So they built this big balloon out of paper and they used straw to heat it up. You can imagine what happened 50 feet off the ground. It burned. So what they had to do was think of a material that could withstand the heat. So they came up with the idea of silk. The silk was very expensive during that time. The only person who had that kind of money was the King of France. So they went to the King of France, asked to build this nice big balloon out of silk, sent up a chicken, goat, and a pig. And when they looked inside the basket, they noticed that all the animals had survived. So it was a fire flight this time. So they built a bigger balloon. From the sky. Tore the balloon up, tore the basket up. And after a few times of this happening, they were figuring out ballooning was becoming very expensive. So what they had to do is think of a way to keep the balloons from getting torn up. So what they did is they brought a bottle of champagne on board. And when they landed, they presented this bottle of champagne to the angry farmers. Farmers saw the champagne, realized they were Frenchmen because the only person said champagne was the king of France. <laughs> they greeted them with open arms, the blues were getting torn up, and that's why we serve champagne where we land uh, traditionally. And also uh, we say the balloonist prayer, and it goes like this. The winds have welcomed you with softness. One more prayer. The sun has blessed you with its warm hands. You have flown so high and so well that God is showing you laughter and gently set you back down into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Calm, gentle breezes throughout life. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.